Okay, for the for the growth score, Tony Wormsley on 31, Michael McPatel on 34, Lee Warburton on 30, nothing in it. You know, this is quite important because if Lee can manage to overhaul Tony, Lee will go into the lead for the championship, which will be... He will bore me on geography. Pretty awesome. Yeah, okay, this is science incorporating nature <coughs> uh, and other sciencey stuff. I hope I put that perfectly succinctly for you. Good luck. A subspecies of what was believed to have become extinct with the death of Lonesome George in June McP. Galapagos turtle. Tortoise. <laughs> mm. Wrong. John. Giant tortoise. Wrong. Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Tortoise. Wrong. Tony. Uh, leatherback tail. A subspecies of what was believed to become extinct with the death of Lonesome George in June 2012? Simon. Galapagos tortoise. Yeah. Yeah, I said, yeah. Uh, oh, it's a giant tortoise. Thing. You said Galapagos turtle. <laughs> yeah, we, had, we were all around it. <laughs> Shameful to. Uh, <laughs> we can't give you points. I'll buy you a pint though when we finish. <laughs> all right. Yeah, that was a tough one. Which French engineer, along with René Panhard, began... Norman? Gilles Steps. I'm afraid it wasn't Norman. McP. Corbusier. John. Eiffel. That's what I was going to do. Jamie. Bartholdi. <laughs> Which French engineer, along with René Panard, began producing vehicles with a, with a ventral front mounted. <laughs> uh, Jamie. Tommy. Sorry, Simon. Lavasseur. Lavasseur is correct. <laughs> Number three. Which typeface was first used by Aldus Magnutius? Norman. Italic. You could see which way that was going. <laughs> Well, when you walk and you think of Especially designed by our old Aldous there, who I the name I'm sure you're very very familiar with. Widely used in highly accurate atomic clocks. Jamie. Cesium. Is correct. Yeah. And it was fifty-five was <laughs> going on there. Dying October dying in October twenty eleven. Who created the general purpose computer programming language between 1969 and 1973, known as C? His name is Dennis Ritchie. Really? How did Helen Sharman find Daniel? She's the first British woman in Smith. <laughs> yes. I could prompt you on that and you would say... Give any of the collective nouns defined by Wikipedia for baboons. Tony. True. Yeah, you could have had a flange, which is kind of an evocative name. Oh, <laughs> Tony, two points for your flange. How about that then? Yeah. Guys and gals. <laughs> to within 5%. You got that in your head, 5%? To within around 5%. How old are the fossil microbes discovered around Hudson Bay claimed as the world's oldest evidence of life? Jamie? 5%, um, 5%? I don't know, 300 million years old. <laughs> Lee? 4 billion years old. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to give you 4 to 4.5 billion. I did say around 5%, which just gives you that edge on 4 billion. 4.28 billion, I was always going to allow for. So, Lee, two points on your fossils. What, mechani what, me what mechanical part converts reciprocating and rotate? John? Oh, yeah. Camshaft. I'm going to continue the question for the time being. <laughs> Typically in a car, driving the gearbox, water pump, fan and generator. Jamie. Fan bill. McP. Crankshaft. Crankshaft. Is that different, <laughs> different from the camshaft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, John, I've got to deduct you a point. 
Yeah, because there's obviously uh, you, John, you're doing actually better on minuses. Uh, who got that? <laughs> me. Jane, uh, me. Me. Reset. Uh, first water. Describe. John. It's for decaffeinating coffee. <laughs> first water describes the highest quality of what? Jamie. Whiskey? No. It's the highest quality of... Tea? Salmon. Ice cube. It's diamonds. Ooh, first oh, water... I was, I was right with ice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Um. Um, what colour do Americans normally attribute to Canis lupus? Simon. Brown. John. Grey. Grey wolf. Grey wolf. Yeah. John, you've got some catching up to do. Maybe for zero, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Northern pintail. Bicol teal. And <laughs> Simon. Ducks. Yeah, and black yeah. scoter. Right in there. Fossils of the 25 million year old, by the way, 300 million years was the worst answer we've ever given. <laughs> That's just an accidental press. <laughs> Fossils of the 25 million year old Pelagonis sandarisi have been identified as the largest ever flying. John? Penguin. No, minus <laughs> one. Uh, John, there you go. Two forward, one back. <laughs> Uh, the largest ever flying what? Must be. A bat? No. Jamie? Mammal. Tony? Dinosaur? No. Simon? Butterfly? Lee? Bird? Yeah. <laughs> Seems to be. All there is to it! <laughs> 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 what do you think I'm going to find? Dinosaur? Bird? Obviously it wasn't That's a quite so classic. What, is, what is measured on the Sapphire Simpson? <laughs> McPease? Hurricanes. What two word phrase, no one points here, describes the passage of Mercury or Venus between the Earth and the Sun? John. Transit. Oh, he said two words. Inferior orbit. McP. Uh, <laughs> something transit. Uh, I'm sub transit, sub transit. No, uh, Leo, look at is is they they both have inferior orbits all the time. These called inferior conjunctions uh -huh. when when we when we see them passing through. Yeah, yeah. You get my drift. The largest members of the proboscidae family, <laughs> Lee. Um, elephants. Correct. A lot of questions there for. Yeah. The, Basically, I'll read the question. It's an interesting question, I find. Until recently, only two types were thought to currently exist, but one has now been recognised as two distinct species, the bush and the forest. The symbol of the United States, the Republican Party, blah, 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 jumbo, dumbo, blah, blah. OK. Lead. Good. You're in the lead. Joint lead with Simon Chilton. Don't steal poor Simon's fun. He's had a terrible time today. Which shrub is also called the butterfly? Tony. Euphrasia, E-U-P-H-R-A-S-I-A, is a plant traditionally used as a herbal remedy for which part of the body? Tony. I. Oh, yeah, correct. <laughs> I was expecting 300 answers there. Did you know that, Tony, or was that just a, yes, a, 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 a sensible guess? Well, that's drug. I've heard it before, so... Euphrasia. It's called some words. What part of the body is affected by Burgess disease, a.k.a. IgA... Nephropathy. Tony. Is that a hat trick for you, Tony? I think so. Budlier? Yeah. Aye? Yeah. Kidney? Yeah. Hat trick, how about that? Having the lead. Wow, doesn't it make a difference when you get those things under your belt? What was the name of the world's most famous sheep, according to sources? Jamie. Dolly. Yep, that was a dolly. 
couldn't get any faster than that. Right. Uh, 9.47 out to 9.55. There are 500 milliseconds separating yeah, the lot of you there. Well done. We're going straight on to geography. Let's have a look at the overall score before we click into geography. We can see that Lee and Mike are on 36 each, Tony's on 38, and uh, the rest are uh, kind of still jumping over the penultimate fence, I think. Uh, Michael McPartland, 87 for some money. Simon Chilton, you need three on McPartland for this. We may go yeah, back to Lee, this. Lee's on 86. Lee's on 86. Lee's on oh, 86. my goodness, Lee's on 86. And it's geography. <laughs> oh, God, blimey. Oh, That's Lee, it. by the way, did you look at the tail end of the last film? Basically, oh, no, but you, it, you was like, it was like 50 milliseconds which stopped no, no. you getting the money. Yeah. It was no, awesome. No, Excellent. I'm, I'm not apologizing. Yes, I'm apologizing for that. I feel so oh, guilty. Okay, geography, here we go. Good luck, everybody. Uh, we will return to those screens in just a moment. Let's see where we've got two to go. Which city became the capital of West Germany in... Lee, Dom. I would say good, but it would be too cheesy. Right. <laughs> Once the capital of the Roman province Arabia Petraea, which southern Syrian world heritage site had a second century AD MP? Petra. I'm afraid not, Ooh, Michael. God. Oh, God. Uh, uh, the second century AD. Someone's seen Lee? Aleppo. No, you've lost one as well. Uh, a second a southern Syrian world heritage site had a second century AD Roman theatre and a cathedral completed in 513 by Archbishop Julianus. It was called Simon Petropolis. Jamie, I thought you'd finish the question. I have, I have, yeah, oh, I have, yeah. Um, Istanbul. John, Ravenna. No. Uh, it's Bosra. It's called Bosra. Bosra. So it's a tough question. There you go. Just wait on something. What is hang on, hang on. Yeah, it's all right, yeah. what is the highest point in Bedfordshire? Oh, Lee. Um, Finish the question. You good? Yeah. Oh. No, it Tony. No. Come on, it is. No, it's not Cleve. No. John. Haddington Hill. Oh no. I got know it now. I'm the camera now. Uh, P. Mount Luton. <laughs> <laughs> can I have a go now? We can go off the phone. No, it's High Luton. No, it's Dunstable Down. Uh, oh, there's a visitor centre. There's a visitor centre up there. It's, on, it's very near Whipstade Zoo, about three miles from yes, Whipstade yes. Zoo. This yes, side, yes. as you're going down the M1. Dunstable Downs. HW is the UK number plate mnemonic that comprises the first two letters of plates from which region of southern England? Simon. Very from Nasty. Lee. Oh. Kevin Carmel. Tony. Harwich. Jamie. Hampshire. I think I think kind of the mnemonics giving you away because it's, it's not really. I think they call them number plate mnemonics, but they're not actually always uh, that. Tony. Oh. Jamie. Hampshire. McP. Eastern West Sussex. No, it's the Isle of Wight. The Isle oh, of Wight. Yeah. Hampshire Wight. Yeah. Hampshire yeah. Well, it's because White, Middlesbrough's yeah. NV yeah. for some reason. Yeah, Middlesbrough's envy and Liverpool's oh, MU. Thank you, Melbourne. Like well well Let's move it right along. <laughs> okay, same kind of question, but this time with a country. CI is the international. <laughs> Tony. Yeah, Cote d'Ivoire. That's looking useful for you, Tony. Very useful. There's lots of questions in the yet. 395 metres below. Sea level. Which McP. The Dead Sea. Which Salt Lake? Yes, you are right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Name another one. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's a long way down as well when you think about it. Reset. Thousand feet. The National Capital Territory or NCT. Which, Jamie. Australia. Wrong. Which is thought to have around 25 million residents as of 2016 is part of which Commonwealth country? Tony. Kansas. Lee. India. Correct. Yeah. Useful. And this is the key for the population. Just the end the population. Was I going to have to be asked? He couldn't do anything else. I know. I just thought the C. I was just listening to C and CT. I'm going to swap this question around. It's the same for everybody. 
200 to 145 million years ago, <laughs> which geological period ran from Lee? Jurassic. Yes. <laughs> Were you hiding your mouth a little bit yeah. there? Well, Lee, that's great well, stuff. Oh, tough question coming up. I can guarantee this is a tough thing. At nine, sorry, at 2,805 hectares, which is the fifth largest of the Shetlands? <whistles> tough question. Simon? Yell. No, that's a great, I think yell third or fourth. Uh, Lee? No, it's uh, Unst. No, that's, that's a good answer as well, but no, that's definitely one. John? I was going to say Unst. Uh, John? I'm trying to think of anything else. Yeah. Uh, McP? South Unst. No, it's Bresse. It's called Bresse. Bresse. It's, it's the, the toughest one of the lot, really. Uh, okay, reset. And off we go. Ten. What colour, other than white, appears on a Nigerian... <laughs> Lee! Oh, unlucky, Michael! Green. Second every bloody time. <sighs> Ever the bridesmaid. I know. Shopping. So, let's look at Lee's score here. Five. Tony, two. Let's have a look at the overall scores. Two. Have I got some next then? Uh, no, you've only got one right. I've got two. Okay. Yeah, I've got two points. Yeah, one question right. Uh, so, right. Lee's on at 91 uh, for the money. I've got Lee's on 91, uh, 41 above Tony's 40. I thought I've got two questions. Let's go through the questions and make sure about this. <laughs> I'm probably wrong, like, but. Uh, Cote d'Ivoire, you got. Yeah. Bon, Jeez. Bosra. Dunstable Downs, no, no, no Isle of Wight, no, Dead right, Sea, India, just Jurassic, one. Bresse, just one. Green. <laughs> just one. Just one. <laughs> Lose a point if wrong. This question doesn't shut down. A very limited list. Which of the main inhabited Balearic Islands is closest to mainland Spain? Tony. Alderney. But then, oh shit! <laughs> no, I'm not second. <laughs> not the, not the guess I would have gone with, well, Tony. Minus one. Oh, Simon. Minorca. No. no. Oh. Lee. Ibiza. Whoa! That's what I meant. That's what I meant. Minorca, Minorca, Ibiza. Yeah, yeah I would have said Ibiza, but I wouldn't have been as negative. <laughs> It's the pressure's on. Look at that Q12 final from last year if you want to see pressure in operation. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Name the easternmost of the three great Siberian rivers that flow into the Arctic Ocean. The 11th longest river in the world and the largest amongst rivers whose catchment is entirely within the Russian territorial boundaries. John. Lee. The Lena is a great answer, John. Lee, were you, McP, were you on Lena? Yep. Yeah. John. Wait for the question. Oh, yeah, 21s and tw John actually both in on a brave press, six of a second in front of everybody. Are those cameras working, please? Yeah. Good luck, everybody. What is the county town of Cork? Tony. Shirley. Lee. Cork. <laughs> Which United States city is served by Executive, formerly Redbird Airport, Addison Airport, McKinney and DFW? Norman. Washington. Minus one. We'll just be on you at that. <laughs> No, I don't know. I'm sure. <laughs> Tony. That's Chicago. I was, going, I was going Washington as well. Lee. Los Angeles. No. McP. Dallas. Correct. Oh, DFW, Dallas, 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 Dallas Oh, that yeah. makes things nice. <laughs> that makes things very <laughs> nice. <laughs> Uh, I still think Lee's kind of got a, a cushion, but only one cushion. Let's have a look what cushion you've got, please, if you don't mind. Do I need to get two right, I think? 44, 38, 20, 41. You need to get two right to win. Lee, a bad neg, if you don't mind me saying that. Yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> but, but having said that, it's that kind of play which has put you where you are. Good luck, everybody. Uh, 94 and 92 is all to play for. You need one point to be in the money. And we have a player for the money if it counts. What question number is this? This is question number... I'll tell you in a minute. 
It's question number 15. Keep your eyes on those screens. Watch them going off. This is tight. What was opened in July 1971 by Edward Stanley, the 18th Earl of Derby, and Jimmy Chipperfield, now occupying John. Nosley Safari Park. Oh, John. <laughs> Nosley Safari, Safari Park, Park. now oh. occupying yeah. some 228 hectares off the A58 <laughs> between St Helens and Liverpool. What is the most northerly million city in the world with the Swedish name Helsingfors and home? Simon. No. I'm afraid not. Shoot. Tony. Uh, Helsinki. Correct. Were you on Helsinki? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I thought it was too obvious. Four. See it. Left. Eyes on cameras. Bear Regis. Malcolm Lee. Dorset. Malcolm Regis and Lyme Regis and all oh, which cool. county. That should be enough, that should be enough. Three to go. You need all three, Michael, I think. Hat trick coming up. Are you all on T side? <laughs> <laughs> Way I. 18. Nyon. N I G H. Nyon. Nyon, one third of the United Nations end in which letter of the alphabet? <laughs> That's the first of three. <laughs> Camera's good. Yep. What shipping area would a sailor sailing due south from the island of Barra cross before reaching Ireland? John. Marine. It's correct. <laughs> Ah, you can breathe, Lee. Leave it alone. Drop the... Sorry, Michael. <laughs> uh, <laughs> McPee, uh, Lee, what were you on there? I wouldn't have said Malin. What would you have said? Rock I think, mean, never said. No. Yeah. Uh, McPee, what were you on? Uh, not that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Malin Head. Is the, yeah. Yeah. I think not. Yeah. Island. If enough people guess the form, it might have come it. Mm. Uh, next one. Uh, these questions were written before last month's quiz. Which other capital is about 50 kilometres and more or less east of Vienna? Simon. Bratislava. It is. <laughs> Simon, that's that. Are those cameras working, please? Let's have a, let's have a look at the results there. If you look at the screens, uh, I'm not sure if the cursor comes up. I'm probably... We can see for the gross scores, uh, basically an absolutely tremendous score from Lee Warburton actually in the in the last two rounds especially the geography with seven correct answers and two negs uh, Lee wow that is a couple of real scalps you've got then feather in your cap and any other analogy you can uh, equate to being successful at what you love doing give Lee a massive round of applause that's, that's all the experience there and, uh, Consequently, uh, with, with that magnificent stretch at the end, in reverse order for the money, uh, I can see that we have got a 94 there. What's the one below 94? 81? Yeah. 81, yeah. Okay, well, I'll be requiring money from you all eventually, but Simon Chilton, you get £10 back. Uh, on 94, Michael McParlin, you couldn't do much about that today, could you really? Lee was on, uh, he was really... Yeah, kind of good to go. He was, incre he was incredibly fast. And he did to be fast, yeah. better on sport and for off to build a bit of gap. And I didn't. Know, so. Yeah, yeah. Lee, how's it feel, man? This is this is like, first time, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Very good. Absolutely. Absolutely. Doing it fifteen so I years. I got the first and it wasn't fitness. it wasn't just the first time. Whoa, that was lucky. You actually pretty well dominated that quiz. You know, John started out absolutely fantastically, but you never actually fell by the wayside. Let's look at Lee's scores yeah. along the way. Two pretty, you know, it's, it's passable. Oh. Five. Good, eight, good, three, definitely we'd settle for three in a round, eight, brilliant, another one round, four, good, six, good, twelve, magnificent. They saved the best round till last. They made a great game of it. Well done, everybody. Thanks for coming. And don't forget to come in and join Lightning Quick.